Welcome to Kyle Heath Art, where I teach you how to make art and make money at art. Today we're going to talk about how to make black and why you'd even want to. And to mix things up a little bit today, whenever I say the word white, I'm going to drop an article of clothing. You know, just to make things a little more interesting. So looking at our palette here, you'll see we've got the colors white. Ah, I said it already. All right, well, I stuck to it, so, ah. Actually, you know what? That's gonna make painting way easier. What was I saying? Oh yeah, so the colors we're going to use are titanium white, naphthol red, ultramarine blue, and Hansa yellow light. And it doesn't really matter what kinds of paint you use, I'm an oil painter, but you can use acrylics. I use naphthol red, but you could use cadmium red. It really doesn't matter. These are just the ones that I use because they're non-toxic pigments. So it may sound crazy to you that we're gonna make black out of red, blue, and yellow. It sounds crazy, but when these three come together, it really does turn into black, like magic. Let's lay these out on the palette and get started. So, the reason these three colors will turn into black is because paints are subtractive colors. That means the more you put them together, the less light they're going to reflect, and also the duller they'll become. And what is the darkest, dullest color there is? That's black. So to make black, you'll put in equal strengths of red, yellow, and blue. Now, I don't mean equal amounts. Some of these paints are very bossy. So you may have to hold back on one, especially this red guy in my case. But what I want is equal redness, blueness, and yellowness in my mixture. So what you do is you mix these three colors together, and then it's so dark that you need a way to test it. And the way we're going to test it is to mix in white. Up, oh, there I go, I've done it again. So to test it, we'll take away a little of the black from this mixture and then mix in some of the, this stuff. And after that, you look. If we've mixed a true black right away, then this mixture should be gray. You take a look at the color that did come out, and from that you decide what color you need to mix into it to push it more towards a colorless color. So, is it too purple? Is it too orange? Looking at this, the color looks a bit too purple, so what I need to do to turn it towards gray is mix in a bit of the complementary color, which is yellow. And if you want to know more about this idea of complementary colors and colorless colors, Click the link in my bio and join my mailing list for a free video all about this. So we're going to cycle through adding touches of color and then adding in white until the mixture looks gray. Oh, there we go. I said white again. there we go. When I mixed in this guy, we ended up with a colorless color this time, a gray. And that means that this dark color is a true black. Now this can take a little bit of trial and error, but nudging your colors around by mixing in primaries is an incredible way to get better at seeing and mixing color. So from this, I'll mix together a seven point value scale of lights and darks. And while I do that, I'll tell you about why you would want to mix black. 
So why not just use a tube if you want black? Well, there's a lot of reasons. Number one, you may not have a tube of black handy. It's good to have enough control and knowledge of your paints to be able to make whatever color you need in a pinch. But more importantly than that, this technique teaches you to be stronger at mixing and seeing color, which is one of the most important skills a painter can have. It helps you to understand where colors come from. Most of us would think when we want to make a color darker, we mix in some black. But that's the last thing you want to do. Black will always pull the color out of your mixture. And I'll tell you more about that in my link in the description as well. When you mix black, as well as all of your dark colors, you can make dark tones that are still colorful and also for sure will look harmonious with the other colors in the painting. So try it out for yourself. Mixing black and then also mixing a value scale of black to white is a great step towards becoming a color master. Oh, I said it again. I'm done. Thanks for watching everyone. Have a great day and happy painting. Rory the cat just wants to say hi. If you like this video, please subscribe right down there.